Hey, my Legion, what's going on? I tell you what, I'm so happy my dad's home and, uh, you know, I've been taking the Percocet from my back and stuff like that so much. So, I mean, I, I'm feeling pretty good now. So, you might see, and I'm in a video making mood. So, you might see another video tonight, including this one. I just saw the show Pornography on the History Channel at 10 o'clock. I guess it's on right after Pawn Stars. Pawn Stars on 9, and then at 9.30, two episodes, two new episodes, and then Pornography is on at 10 and 10.30. Now, what Pornography is, is a game show based on a popular show, Pawn Stars. And what happens is there's two contestants, and they answer a bunch of questions, and they compete to see the win cash and some of Rick's most valuable items. Now, here's the setup for the show. Now, first of all, it's set, it looks a lot like the show uh, Win Ben Stein's Money. Very similar. I don't know if anyone remembers that show uh, on Comedy Central. And that was on before uh, when Jimmy Kimmel was still an unknown because he was co-hosting with Ben Stein. Well, anyways, it's hosted by Christopher Titus, who I haven't seen in a long time. He had a show on Fox called Titus well, a while ago, and he's all right. I mean... He's okay. I don't mind him that much as a comedian. Uh, the show is based, it consists of three rounds. Okay, here's how it goes. The first round, they have both, uh, they have like a, the panel, they have two competitors, right? And then they have, the first round is Chumley and uh, Big Hoss playing. And what they do is they answer a bunch of questions, and there's so much money, and there's one item uh, from Rick's prized possession, usually items that he would not sell. And, and and that's up for grabs for that round. And whoever wins the most money wins that. Now, if the pawns, if Chumley and Big Hoss win it, win the most money, they don't, the guys don't get that prize. And you can see, because sometimes you think a show is bogus, but you see there's lots of worry in Rick's face. So, I mean, this show is based, he does not want to get rid of these prizes. He does not want to lose these. All right, second, and at the end of the first round, they actually get a, uh, they actually get like a bonus question relating to the show Pawn Stars to see how well they actually know the Pawn Stars themselves from which season, season eight, season nine, whatever season. And if they get that question right, they get an additional $150. Now the second round is the two contestants up against Rick and they have another prize possession uh, up for grabs. Like on like uh, in the second uh, in the first episode they had like the very one of the very first pinball machines ever made. I'd love to win that. Valued at like I think seven thousand dollars or something like that. And um, and they compete and they ask a bunch of it's both basically history questions. Then it has multiple choice with an answer of four different things. And if uh, and if Rick gets more money than the other guys, then they keep that he keeps the prize. They don't get that. Now, and whoever has the least amount of money, they get out. They're booted out. And then it's up to the other contestant. Now, I want to, before I go any further, I want to tell my friend, they said rock and roll, probably, who's probably the biggest Elvis fan I know, that they had an Elvis question, and I got it right. You proud of me? And the question was, uh, Elvis won a total of three Grammys. And what category of music was that? And the question, and the choices were like, I think it was rock, country rock, gospel and R&B and I said gospel I knew it was gospel and I was right it was gospel well anyways I just thought I mentioned that for her uh, anyways on the third round now, what the third round is is uh, the contestant sits down and he has 60 seconds to answer 10 questions that Christopher Titus tells him and the other guys uh, Chumley, Big Hoss and Rick are in an isolation booth, so he they can't hear the answers, and they say how many questions they got. Right. I mean, they have a little thing that says how many questions they got right, and how many questions they get wrong, right? And at the end of the 60 seconds, if you didn't answer a question, it doesn't count. You don't get that question, so that goes against you. Now, one thing I saw is complete bullshit. Is if you pass on a question, it's considered wrong, and if you still have time, like on Family Feud. When they asked a bunch of questions, if, if you said pass, when you when if you answer a question, you still have time left. They go back to that question to get you a chance to answer again. They don't do it on this show. I think that's that's bullshit. 
So if you say pass, you might as well just say you don't know or wrong answer. They won't let you go back to that question. I don't I don't like that. That's the only thing about the show I don't like. Well, anyways, okay, the contestant answers those questions. And then it's time for the contestant to go in isolation booth, right? And for and it's all three Pawn Star members now. It's Rick in the main seat, and then uh, Big Hoss and Chumley sitting behind him, and they ask him the same amount of questions. And they don't know, and they don't say whether they get the question right or wrong. It's like marked a little thing on the thing. They don't know which question is right and wrong, right? Neither one does. So after that, the contestant and Rick uh, have like a negotiation. And what is, they don't know who if they won or if they lost. Neither people. And what is, they said like, uh, like the value of the prizes and the money would be up to like $16,000, right? And then they have negotiations, say, uh, say what they take it down to or something like that. Like Rick would say, well, I'll give you $500. I don't think you got it right. And the other guy said, well, I believe I did did get it right, but I'd like to knock it down a little bit, let's say 15000 And he said, well, I'll go up to 800 And the other guy will say, well, 12000 You know, because just in case if they if they lose, they don't get anything. But if they negotiate and barter, they, they will strike a deal, and then the guy will go home with something if he lo loses. So that's what happened. Like uh, In the second episode, the guy said the guy went down to $3,500, and they said, well, I'll take your deal. And he walked away with $3,500, and he lost. So that's the way if you lose, uh, you might be able to win something. But usually they're real cocky, and they said, well, you know, I, I know I beat you and stuff like that. And they try to, they just negotiate back and forth. I think this is a very interesting show. <clears throat> The questions mostly are about history and entertainment somewhat. I mean, it's better than some shows that ask you about Beyonce and Jay-Z, and I don't know I don't know nothing about them. I'd be lost in the water. But either, a lot of these questions are based on history and stuff. It looks like I have a big bump on my head. It's just the way my head is. Uh, and uh, it's really interesting. I give that show a solid 9 out of 10. I think it's really good. I think it's my first game show, uh, TV show, TV game show review. But there you have it. Pornography, spelled P-A-W-N-ography, not pornography, pornography. Just like Pawn Stars is not Porn Stars, but it sounds like Porn Stars. It's Pawn Stars. But it's a very popular, well, it should be, I might be popular, game show based on a very popular show, Pawn Stars. And there's a t my first ever TV game show review. I hope you enjoyed it. So until next time, everybody, hey, check out Pornography next Thursday night at 10 o'clock for new episodes, and Pawn Stars at 9 o'clock, the same night, Thursday night, for new episodes. So until next time, everybody, hey, please, wait, wait a second, take care of my legion.